For this example, we're given the universal set U, which has the element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we have two sets A, which has the elements 1, 2, and 3, and B with the elements 2, 4, and 6. And we've been asked to find the intersection of A and B and the union of A and B, and we've been asked to draw a Venn diagram to illustrate our conclusions. So A, intersection B, is the elements that are in both A and in B. So if we're looking at set A, we have 1, 2, and 3, and in set B, we have 2, 4, and 6. Now the only number that is in both is 2. So we will say that the intersection of A and B is just 2. So to move on, we now want to find the union of A and B. So the union of A and B is everything that is in A, everything that is in B, and everything that is in both A and B. So everything that is in A is 1, 2, and 3. And everything that is in B is 2, 4, and 6. Now what we see is we've got 2 twice, and that is because it's in the intersection of A and B. So we will say that the union of A and B is just 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Now finally, we need to draw a Venn diagram to illustrate our conclusions. So we'll have one circle representing set A, another circle representing set B, and everything else is what's not in A and B. So in A we have 1 and 3, that's just what's in A, and what's just in B is 4 and 6, and then what's in the intersection of A and B is 2. So in A and B we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6, but in our universal set we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now 5 doesn't appear in A and B, so we'll have 5 outside of those. So we have found the intersection, the union of A and B, and we have illustrated these results in our Venn diagram.